What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Coaster Nostra, back at you guys with another sneaker countdown. This time, guys, let's count down the top 20 Kyrie Fives that have released thus far. We got a couple looming this weekend. Honestly, the buzz around the Kyrie Five is at its highest right now that it's been the entire lifespan of the Kyrie Five. And guys, that is all because of the Nickelodeon SpongeBob collab that is coming at us super quick this weekend can't wait for that guys what's funny is that these might be the last Kyrie fives that drop something tells me there'll be at least one or two more that's just my guess and we got people out there trying on Kyrie fives for the first time trying to figure out what size they need in the sponges guys so in celebration of this super dope pack from Nike and Nickelodeon and Spongebob celebrating 20 years of Spongebob guys let's count down the top 20 Kyrie fives that have dropped so far excluding the Spongebob pack guys because those are coming at us this weekend. Once those drop, I'll drop another countdown video and include those guys, whether it's with just all the Kyrie Fives or the top 25 or whatever it may be, guys, I'll hit you with that video. But first and foremost, guys, let's get into the top 20 Nike Kyrie Fives. A little disclaimer before we get into this, flame me in the comment section down below if you want, but all of this is based on my opinion and my opinion alone. What excites me the most about these colorways of these sneakers? Guys, I also wanna say, if you watch my top 15 Kyrie Five video you'll probably see some similarities in this countdown but some things are also now out of order I sat down and made the list and it was just tough to keep it in the same order so guys at number 20 the Nike zoom vapor X Kyrie 5 this sneaker is okay it's got a lot of similarities to the main Kyrie 5 and then you've got some differences as well when you look at sort of the back heel of the sneaker it's different a lot of the shaping of the sneaker is a little bit different that toe box is definitely shaped different the cushioning to the sneaker is definitely different not a terrible colorway, but pretty boring in my opinion. And I will say, guys, these things are crease monsters, man. So, guys, at number 20, the Nike Zoom Vapor X Kyrie 5 in the hot lava colorway. Guys, at number 19, it's basically the same sneaker. Again, it just bores me. It, this time, it's going to be in that clover colorway. I actually haven't picked those up yet. That's going to be the only sneaker in the countdown that I don't have in hand, but it's very similar to this sneaker, a little bit more white, and then you've got some green and gold accenting. Pretty dope how they were able to fade some of the green and gold accenting, especially on that fly trap. It definitely stands out to me. I'll be trying to get my hands on those things for the low, just for the collection. Otherwise, a sneaker that they could miss me with. I'm not really interested in. I'll throw a little picture of that sneaker up there so you guys can check it out. But at number 19, the Clover colorway of the Nike Vapor Zoom X Kyrie 5. All right, guys, on to number 18, the bread colorway of the Nike Kyrie 5. These things are okay. There's a lot of all black upper Kyrie 5s. And in my opinion, this one just doesn't stand out to me. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the gray outsole and that gray hit on the midsole. I'm just honestly not feeling it. I don't know what it is. Usually black and bread is a no brainer, but for me, the placement of the gray on this one, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know what it is. Usually I'm a sucker for speckling on the midsole, but again, it just doesn't grip me. But guys, at number 18, the bread colorway of the Nike Kyrie 5. At number 17, guys, the third eye vision or galaxy or multicolor colorway. This is a colorway that some people really love. Some people hate this colorway. Some people find it a little bit more feminine. I like the colorway, honestly, but again, something that's just not super duper memorable. They definitely went with the coloring and the pattern on the shroud to really carry this colorway. Otherwise, you've just got an all navy sneaker with some silver accents, that white outsole, and of course, the multicolor hits as they did on basically every colorway of these Kyrie Fives. Guys, the the third eye vision colorway of the Nike Kyrie 5s. All right guys, moving on to number 16, the Duke colorway of the Kyrie 5s. These things are fairly dope. I definitely like what they did with the coloring. One thing that makes them unique is a lot of the uppers of these Kyrie 5s, there's really no pattern to the uppers at all. They just hit you with one plain color on the upper and then they hit you some design patterns on the shroud. That really carries a lot of these colorways. Um, while they did hit you with some of that flame on the actual shroud, they chose to actually hit you with it on some of the uppers as well. They've always dropped a brotherhood or a Duke colorway of the Kyrie fives because of course Kyrie's connection to Duke having played college there who knows maybe they also kind of threw these things at Zion a little bit just to show him what they were able to do and to sort of tempt him to say hey come on board man and you'll get something dope like this even though of course it was Jordan brand and not 
it's specifically Nike basketball themselves. A colorway that if you're a fan of Duke, these things are a banger. If you're a hater of Duke, you probably hate this colorway as well. Me, I'm somewhere in the middle. I had to pick these things up though, being a collector of Kyrie's and the fact that they always do a brotherhood colorway of the Kyrie's. You knew these things were coming anyway. Guys, at number 16, the Duke colorway of the Nike Kyrie 5s. Moving right along at number 15, the Black Magic colorway of the Kyrie 5s. Depending on where you were, these were either the first colorway or the second colorway of the Kyrie 5s to drop. Here, the Black Magic colorway was definitely the first colorway that was available to us to purchase, that was available in stores, that showed up shipping to stores. This shoe is clean, all black and white, then it hits a multicolor, of course, on that outsole. The speckling on the midsole might be what really does it, for this colorway for me. Guys, at number 15, the Black Magic colorway of the Kyrie 5s. All right, guys, moving right along to number 14, the Chinese New Year colorway of the Kyrie 5s. I love this pair, actually. You got that really stark black upper, contrast that with the white outsole, and then, of course, all the dope patterning on the shroud and on that back heel booty portion of the sneaker. I really like this pair, but again, this is a really hard countdown to do because a lot of these colorways are super dope, man. So some people are gonna be offended because their colorway fell so low on the list. Guys, it's not that I dislike that colorway. I obviously dig it. I picked that colorway up, but the thing is that there's so many dope colorways that makes it really hard to put these things in order from one to 20. I actually messaged a couple of buddies saying I was gonna do this. Nobody hit me with, uh, yeah, let me hit you with my list. You know what I mean? At number 14, the Chinese New Year colorway of the Kyrie Fives. Guys, moving on to number 13, the Black History Month colorway of the Kyrie Fives. This colorway and the last colorway, you could really interchange, man. To me, they're both neck and neck with one another in terms of where I was gonna put them on the list. It made it very, very difficult. So again, really interchangeable. What's funny to me with the last colorway, you had this almost all black upper contrasted with the white outsole. Then you have vice versa on this colorway. You've got an all, all white upper, contrast that with the dark black outsole. Um, you can see a lot of patterns and similarities with a lot of these colorways that they dropped. And one thing that sort of disappointed me was how a lot of these uppers were just plain mesh material, one color to the upper. They might have done something with the swoosh, but essentially it was the shroud um, and maybe some pattern on the booty that really carried a lot of these colorways. And then some color on the outsole to really spice things up. To me, it was a little bit disappointing to see, and it really made it when they actually designed some colors on some of these Kyrie's on the uppers. It made them a little bit more memorable to me, but having said all that, I really like what they did with this shoe. You've got sort of the African-esque patterns on the tongue and on the booty of the sneaker. The swoosh on the lateral side really pops and stands out the way they kind of design that swoosh and the patterns and the textures of the shoe. Very unique guys at number 13, the Black History Month BHM colorway of the Kyrie Fives. At number 12 guys, the Have a Nike Day colorway. I've seen these things be called the denim, I guess, colorway of the Kyrie Fives. They did not drop right alongside all those Have a Nike Day Air Maxes and stuff like that. However, because of the smiley face with the little swoosh for a smile that is featured on the actual shroud itself, these things definitely had that have a Nike vibe to them in my opinion. The name definitely fit for me. Couple that with the really bright pastel colors that you see on the shroud, splattered on the shroud, and then on the actual outsole itself. It definitely made sense. You have that really oversized Nike in sort of a different font on the actual booty of the sneaker. Again, my gripe with this shoe is if they had thrown more of the splatter on the actual upper of the shoe where they chose to just come at you with the all white clean mesh. I think this colorway would have been a lot more memorable and dope to me. Um, it would have definitely resonated with me a lot more. Guys, at number 12, they have a Nike Day colorway of the Kyrie Fives. All right, guys, moving on to number 11, the Friends colorway of the Kyrie Fives. This colorway actually dropped quite a bit on my list on the top 20 versus my top 15 list. Guys, check that video out if you want to see where it fell on that list. But I know this is a colorway that a lot of people really, really dig. It's just a colorway that makes sense. All black, all white, and then you just got the hits of those three primary colors, taking it all the way back to grade school, guys. You got the blue, the yellow, and the red, which, of course, is supposed to represent the colors of the dots that they actually threw in between the actual Friends font for the show logo. Very iconic. You actually have that little flap featured right here which says Friends on one shoe and then Kyrie on the other shoe. One thing I definitely dig about this sneaker, they came at you with the uh, two-tone lace. You got the black and red featured on this lace. Um, definitely a unique lace pattern in the rest of this lineup. 
of Kyrie Fives. Guys, at number 11, the Friends colorway collab of the Kyrie Fives. All right, guys, moving right along at number 10, things are getting super interesting. The Rocket or All-Star colorway of the Kyrie Fives. This colorway to me is really dope. They actually rose the price tag, I wanna say $10 on this colorway. And I guess it was because this is really the only colorway of the Kyrie Fives to feature a different material going on. Instead of coming at you guys with the all mesh upper as they've done on all the other Kyries, this one was a little bit more unique in my opinion. They reversed the swoosh on one side and then you've got a lot more hits of this sort of heavier, more durable sort of rubber material to the actual toe cap and back portions of the sneaker. Very, very dope. You got the translucent shroud and they actually threw white laces on these sneakers and then the neon green laces, which I think just go infinitely harder on this sneaker. You got that semi-translucent neon yellow green outsole. One thing I will say about this colorway, it looks a little chunky on the shelves and in hand, but on feet, these things are tough, man. Definitely, guys, pick this colorway up if you haven't yet yet or if they're on sale in your area. In hand, it doesn't feel like it's significantly heavier than other versions of the Kyrie if you're thinking about balling in these things. I really dig this colorway of the sneaker. As I said, guys, on feet, these things are tough. The Rocket collab, which dropped, of course, for the All-Star game of the Kyrie Fives. Guys, moving right along to number nine, the Cookies and Cream or the Oreo colorway of the Kyrie Fives. These are definitely a strong candidate for being higher than they are on my list. If you guys feel like they deserve to be higher, I just might have to agree with you. It's super hard to make this list, guys. I can't iterate that enough, especially having them all in hand and just laying them all out on the floor and then sort of setting them all up like dominoes from one to 20. It's very difficult to do. I definitely dig this colorway more than I dig the Black Magic colorway, which to me is almost like an inverse of this colorway. The one difference would be you don't have the hits of multicolor really on that outsole. So you've just got that marbled black and white outsole. And then the shroud on this sneaker is black. So you have that to sort of contrast with the white upper. Whereas in on the Black Magic colorway, the shroud is not white on that sneaker. If it had been, that would be pretty tough in my opinion as well. But these things are really dope. I honestly thought about wearing one of these and one of the Black Magics at one point. But I don't know if you can really pull that off, especially with the multicolor on one and then sort of the splash and splash speckles on the other one. I think they really executed this colorway really, really well. Guys, at number nine, a colorway that was tough to leave all the way back there, the cookies and cream or the Oreo colorway of the Kyrie Fives. Moving on to number eight, guys, the Rainbow Souls colorway of the Kyrie Fives. When you look at the box, it states black slash black slash black. So these things really, at first glance, appear to be the triple blacks. If you cycle back to the Kyrie Fours, that triple black colorway of the Kyrie Fours was definitely that triple black all black colorway these things are all black in business until you lift that sneaker up and look at that outsole where they hit you with that super duper vibrant outsole in the multicolor i don't know why these are so high on my list but i just couldn't find myself putting them any lower and the funny thing about that is i really gravitate more or less towards white shoes way more than I gravitate towards an all black shoe. It's just my personality in general and my taste in general. I do really, really like colorful and vibrant and sort of obnoxiously colorful shoes. So that might be why I really, really dig the outsole on these. I think it's really just the choices of color that they went with. They're so bright, man. And this colorway, in my opinion, is just so clean. But again, a colorway that if it fell somewhere else on you guys' list, I wouldn't really get mad at you guys. I would definitely understand why you feel the way you do and why you would be able to make an argument as to the placement of this shoe in your list. But guys, for me at number eight, a much more recent drop of the Kyrie Fives, the Rainbow Souls colorway of the Kyrie Fives. Guys, moving on to number seven, another colorway that's super clean and just well executed, the black and metallic gold colorway. One thing that I have to say that kind of bugs me about this colorway is they didn't really hit it with that proper name and they just sort of went with the black slash metallic gold. It's sort of boring. It makes me think that Kyrie and the Celtics were as successful as they probably were anticipated to be based on how successful they were the year before, that they might have dropped these things during an actual playoff run. I know a lot of people were drawing comparisons to the Kyrie 2's colorway that dropped that he actually wore during 
during the playoffs and I definitely get the correlation in terms of date and the color and stuff like that I think that if they had hit you with the gold on that strap again I've sort of made that argument on one of the other colorways if they'd hit you with that gold on the sort of fly trap portion of this sneaker it would have definitely embodied that colorway a lot more and also I think it would have really made this colorway a little bit tougher but all in all you can sort of see why they didn't because this colorway is super clean you've got that outsole that's just all stark black a little touch of white on that Kyrie logo and then of course that super dope in my opinion gold flakes that they actually threw into the rubber on that outsole a really really tough addition and execution of this colorway guys at number seven the black and metallic gold colorway of the Kyrie fives all right guys moving on to number six the just do it colorway of the Kyrie fives another really dope well executed colorway of the Kyrie's once again something that sort of disappoints me on this colorway is the almost virtually all black upper however they did sort of decorate that back portion with the just on one sneaker and the do it on the other sneaker you definitely have the 80s vibes in my opinion from everything from that font that they actually chose to dress that just do it in all the way down to the color scheme that they ran with on this sneaker. However well executed, a dope colorway in terms of pairing with outfits and stuff like that. Guys, the Just Do It colorway of the Nike Calgary Fives. All right guys, getting down to number five, things are getting really interesting and probably very controversial at this point. So at number five, we have none other than the Mamba Mentality colorway of the Kyrie Fives. I really like these. Of course, I'm a huge Kobe fan, so I definitely dig the nostalgia of what they did um, in terms of reaching out to that Kobe colorway and the way they executed it. And I know when I dropped the uh, review of this video, a guy asked me something and it definitely stuck with me all the way to here. He asked me if there wasn't sort of the Kobe connection with this colorway, would it have resonated with me as much? And I definitely think the answer to that is yes. And the reasons are because it's definitely unique the colors are unique it pops everything from what they chose to do with that back heel portion how you don't just have that sort of all-seeing eye and that sort of material that they hit you with on that back the actual sheen and material that they ran with on the actual shroud of this sneaker and the tongue of this sneaker how it sort of pops and it's iridescent the purple coupled with the lime the infrared accents and then the actual design that they came with on the upper which is something that I think has been lacking sorely from this Kyrie 5 line they just got all plain uppers as I've stated at least three times in this video this sneaker they actually chose to come out you with sort of this snake pattern and while it is muted and sort of hard to see from a distance once you get closer to the sneaker to me it's something that definitely leaps frogs this sneaker a little bit higher in my list guys at number five things are getting controversial the mamba mentality colorway of the Kyrie fives guys moving on to number four the UFO colorway of the Kyrie fives this is a colorway that with all these other dope options people might be coming at me pretty hard in that comment section I really have no idea but I really really dig these things for a couple reasons number one the colors that they went with they're sort of unique how they dress the shoe if there was a little bit more of that orange I think that would be dope if you could find maybe an orange lace that was that color I think it would really really go hard on this sneaker maybe that sort of limeish green that they kind of throw at you would be really dope as well i really dig the little ufo that they came with on the actual fly trap shroud part of the sneaker but i think one of the main things about this shoe that i think is really really awesome is that outsole and how it has that sort of marbled white and blue and sort of green color scheme going on i think it's really dope but it's really really emblematic to me of a lot of the Kyrie fours and just how crazy and busy how part of the colorway the outsole really was i know they tried that on the Kyrie fives they sort of went for that with coloring the actual eyes and I guess in my opinion having so many portions of the shoe to dress in different colors but when it really came down to it now that we've gone through all 20 of these sneakers a lot of the outsoles look very very similar to one another you've got a lot of yellows a lot of blues on a lot of those eyes on the outsole it made for a lot of predictability with a lot of these colorways to me this colorway is just different if only because of that outsole these in my opinion a super dope colorway green is my favorite color even though i love just about all colors bright colors 
So take my opinions again with a grain of salt, guys. But at number four, the UFO colorway of the Nike Kyrie 5s. Guys, at number three, the Taco PE colorway of the Kyrie 5s. In some places, guys, this was the first colorway of the Kyrie 5s to drop. They dropped that sort of limited hype colorway in select stores. Not everywhere got these things, of course. Not everywhere gets everything, of course, but you know what I mean by that. They did not arrive on time in North Carolina on this side of the United States. Out West, I definitely know a couple people that were able to get these things on release day but to me these things are super tough I changed the laces on these I went with the lace from DMG laces as I've done on a few of these laces in the Kyrie 5 countdown guys check them out at dmglaces.com they have really every lace you could think of in terms of color and style from rope to flat to wax to leather any kind of colorway from solid colors to two cone colors multi colors they've got just about anything you can think of guys this shoe to me was just so unique it definitely takes me back to the beginning of the Kyrie 5 and just being excited to see the Kyrie 5 hit shelves all the love and appreciation that I definitely had for the Kyrie 4 it's probably still my favorite Kyrie model in terms of the actual sneaker itself the colorways and stuff but with that Spongebob pack looming quickly guys who knows that might change but these to me were super tough you got the woodland camo all over the actual shoe itself the oversized swoosh and that reflective silver that 3m silver that really really pops in the light and in the flash you got all that orange on the sneaker itself which to me really makes you think of a hunting jacket you got the custom insoles with taco spinning a basketball just to me a really really dope sneaker some people hate these things to me I love them at number three guys the taco colorway of the Kyrie fives guys moving on to number two another collab that sort of came out of left field that people were definitely not expecting the Kyrie five bandulu collab these things are tough man another Kyrie five that benefits from having what it some pattern and some actual style to the upper of the sneaker it's not just one color to the mesh while it almost is they actually chose to dress you with that splatter print that a bandulu is really known for the cream color of the sneaker itself the all cream sort of sheen that you see on that fly trap portion of the sneaker just really really clean very very well done you got that olive tongue the olive inner lining to the shoe the gum bottom on this version of the shoe you got the all red bottom on the asian version of the shoe i actually order that version off stock X and they sent me this version of the shoe again so I have two of these right now I have to send one back super lame really disappointed in StockX for that oversight and honestly they really haven't offered me anything to try to make good on it but I'm gonna include that version of the sneaker in my number two pick in some places they actually pushed this to release date back so this hasn't hit shelves yet but guys at number two the bandulu collab colorway of the Kyrie fives guys do a little drum roll at home if you want we've counted all the way down from 20 to number one all the Kyrie fives that have dropped and hit shelves in of course men's sizing guys we're not talking about anything grade school at number one guys it has stayed number one it was my number one in my top 15 it's my number one in my top 20 just a dope colorway of the Kyrie fives the Iket colorway which of course was a concepts collab these things are dope they're super tough I love this colorway of the sneaker I love what they did you've got that sand colored upper you've got some silver hits on the shoe but when you actually look close there's a rainbow iridescent to the silver hits on the shoe whether it's the Kyrie logo the Kyrie signature the concepts logo on the actual tongue the tongue itself is red the name of the colorway itself is a ket which of course was the name of the great pyramid going all the way back to ancient Egypt time the outsole and midsole are this really unique purple color, but the outsole itself has this iridescent shine to the shoe. It was supposed to represent how the sunrise and sunset looked over the Great Pyramid of Egypt. To me, this was just a well done collab. Everything that they dressed the shoe with, the actual logos on the back heel portion of the sneaker, the colors that they went with, it's just such a unique colorway of the shoe. That special box, which I'm unfortunate enough to not have, is super unique also. Guys, in my top 15, these these were a no-brainer for me for number one in my top 20 it was a little bit tougher but still number one guys the concepts collab of the Kyrie fives Whew. 
Guys, that was difficult. Some of you guys are probably hating on me right now. It is what it is, man. I know y'all got your own opinion. Let me know down below. What are y'all's top three? Are you feeling my top three, my top five, top 15, top 20, whatever it is? How excited are you guys for that SpongeBob pack, guys? I know I'm over here twiddling my fingers, ready to get my hands on all of those Sponge collabs, whether it's the two lows, the low twos, whatever the hell they're called, or the Kyrie fives themselves, man. I'm super excited to get my hands on them sneakers. So thank you guys for rocking with me. Smash that thumbs up or down button for me guys sub to this channel if you guys haven't yet we'll keep the videos rolling out promptly guys throw me a question down below or a comment down below and i will definitely respond much love to you guys my name is kosher nostra stay blessed everybody deuce